It is Monday, October 23rd, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday crossword, which means we should have a relatively gentle, approachable, themed crossword. And I hope that's right, because I'm running, as it's often the case on Mondays, even more extremely today. I'm running very late, so I don't have I don't have much time. Also, um, the drilling that we had some of last week is going on next door, so maybe it's better to get this uh, solved quickly to spare you that. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, in any case, this hopefully fairly speedy edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Quotidia File, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are, of course, sustaining this channel, bringing us this series. I'm very grateful to them for that. And uh, if you'd like to help support this channel in, this, in the way that they do, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And there you can find the bonus videos available to patrons as well as, of course, the uh, official mug for benefactors. So thanks to everybody who's a patron. I really do appreciate it. And uh, do also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that as well. Thanks to everybody who's done so. And finally, there is, of course, the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join via a description field link as well. And that's a nice, friendly chat community. So do go check it out. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is a Monday-themed puzzle by Stella uh, Zavatovsky. This, oh, she's done, I think, about two dozen puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And let's start solving, see what's in store for us today. To handle difficult matters, matters satisfactorily. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I don't quite see it. Club in a Barry Manilow hit informally. I think... I think Barry Manilow is the, I think he did the song, the Copa, the Copacabana. Oh, right. I see. So informally, because the Copacabana would be the name of the club and then the Copa is its informal name. Okay. So to handle difficult matters satisfactorily, I'm not quite sure I get that still. I keep thinking something like clean up or something, but I don't, I don't know. Device connected to a router. Uh, a modem, so this would be something that would bring the internet um, connection to the modem, which then spreads it to computers. Painting known for its enigmatic smile, famously the Mona Lisa is said to, uh, well, is in, in often said to have an enigmatic smile. Follow orders is to obey. Actor and comedian Carvey, Dana Carvey is an actor and comedian who I mainly remember being active in the 1990s, although he's maybe still around, I don't know. First responder for short uh, would be an EMT, an emergency medical technician, and one of a pair of shakers. I mean, this looks like Obama, doesn't it? Yes, election victor of 2008 and 2012, so U.S. Um, presidential elections. And then one of a pair of shakers. Oh, a maraca. Yes, which you shake around and makes a, you know, so it's a rhythm instrument, a, a percussion instrument. Okay, so listing of disciplinary infractions, 1950s to early 1980s. Interesting. I don't know what that is yet. What about this? Actress and comedian Rudolph. So Maya Rudolph is an actress and comedian. Uh, so we have two, two actor-comedian combos in this grid so far. While If you're wildly out of control, maybe you're, you're, you're running amok, you're wildly out of control. Um... Permanent, oh, permanent record. 1950s to early 1980s. So <laughs> permanent record is something I remember. This was absolutely ubiquitous in, you know, sitcoms and, and any television, fictional television shows featuring school children saying, oh, if you, if you, you know, you're, this is going to go on your permanent record. I only ever heard this phrase used in fictional TV shows. I've never heard of there being a concept of a permanent record that sort of follows you around in any sort of scholastic sense, um, other than your grades, I guess. But this is 1950s to early 1980s. So what is that getting at? Either that means that's when it actually existed, and that's why I don't have any sort of exposure to it, or it means that's when it was in fiction, but I think it lasted longer than that. So maybe it's the former. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, this will be something related to the theme, but I don't yet know what it's referring to. Okay, ready for if we're ready for business, a, a 
you're open, you could say. Having a liking for, and then A Nightmare on Elm Street is a um, horror film franchise and film itself. To hand, I see, to handle difficult matters satisfactorily is to cope. So, right. I was thinking of this as, I guess, I don't know, sort of a transitive verb, but, um, you know, you handling a matter actively, whereas this is sort of, generally speaking, you're coping, you're handling them yourself internally. Okay. So I guess the transitive version would be cope with or something, or I don't know. Gemstone with a fire variety, an opal, maybe opal file, fire opal sounds reasonable. Uh, if you're having a liking for someone or something, you're, you're partial to it. I'm having a liking for that. I'm partial to it. And then an insect in a colony would be an ant, an ant colony. American Idol is a television series. And broadband connection initials. Oh, I think this was in the crossword just within the last day or two. DSL, which is a wired form of broadband internet connection. And then tan adhesive, 1970s to early 1990s. Um, I don't know. This is interesting. I wonder, I'm really curious to know what this... Um, Oops, these year ranges is going to be sort of decade ranges will turn out to be. Okay, V-shaped cut. V-shaped cut, I'm not sure. No guts, no glory, as they say, to refer to kind of, I don't know, putting in the serious effort. Marissa of Spider-Man No Way Home. I've not seen Spider-Man No Way Home, but I'm pretty sure this is Marissa Tomei, the actor. So three actors so far. By oneself would be Solo. Parts of molecules would be atoms, which make up molecules. And indigenous people of Canada, this looks like the Cree, which is an indigenous people, a First Nations people of Canada. Easy to eat as some grapes and watermelons are seedless. Yeah, there we go. That would make sense. Um, easier to eat because you don't need to worry about the seeds. V-shaped cut, although I've never worried about them with really either of those fruits, to be honest. Um... V-shaped cut would be a notch. Fixed term bank offering that pays well, 1990s to 2000s. High yield, a high yield CD. There we go. Uh, high yield cash deposit. And then showgirl at the one down, oh, Lola at the, at the Copacabana, the character in the song. All right, there we go never really occurred to me that there are two Lola, there's sort of two famous lyrical Lolas, because there's obviously Lola by the Kinks, which is a great song, and then the Copacabana. Yeah, anyway. Way in or out? A door, I guess, is that. Big fuss is an ado, a big sort of commotion. Prayers end is very often amen. And star of the Mission Impossible films is, of course, Tom Cruise. There's quite a few actors today, so there's at least our fourth. If you're amazed, you're maybe awed, I would think. And Ben and & Jerry's is a famous ice cream brand. To be in the red financially would be to owe money. And the abbreviation before a year on a business sign would be, I guess, established. There are a few ways to abbreviate this word, but here's one of them, E-S-T-A-B. Um, I always, I have to admit, I always find it slightly ludicrous when you see an established sign and then it was last year or something and you think, maybe just wait until, <laughs> until, until that year is meaningful enough that it's worth putting on the sign. Skip the elaborate wedding, say. To elope would be to um, just have a quick sort of relatively secretive or private wedding. Where Fairbanks is, Al Fairbanks, Alaska, um, Never been to Alaska, but I've heard of Fairbanks, Alaska, at least. If one finds on a map, one locates something. Oops. Stood, if you stood, you arose, you got up. Certain songbirds or escapades. Uh, larks, if you could say I did it on a lark. It was, you know, I had sort of an escapade. Um, and then obviously a lark is a songbird, literally. So here pigeon shelters are coats, as in a pigeon coat or a dove coat. Um, used with some other animals as well. I think a sheep coat you can have. Song syllables, uh, la la, are very common sing-songy syllables. And then Alan of Marriage Story, yet another actor. Look, this feels like a secretive mini theme. Maybe it's not secret. Maybe this is dealing with television. I don't know. 
but I, I do think it's not related to the official theme. It does feel like a crypto theme. Um, anyway, Alan of Merit's story is Alan Alda, and then uh, spoken is oral, said aloud. Tan adhesive, 1970s to early 1990s, is masking tape. I don't know what this is doing here. 1970s to early 1990s. I can't, I can't tell if I think I'm going to feel like an idiot once I see this and it seems very obvious, or if I'm going to be taken by surprise and it'll be something totally unexpected and bizarre. End of class sound, I guess, I guess the bell. I never really had classes end with a bell in school, but, um, but I know, I guess that is a thing that must happen. Happy blank because of, you know, saved by the bell, things like that. Happy blank McDonald's offering happy meal and cousin of a mouse would be a rat, I guess, simply enough. Article under a blouse, a bra could certainly be worn under a blouse. A blouse and cool and distant would be aloof. If you have a cool and distant attitude, you'd be an aloof person. Texter's astonishment spelled cutesily. Um, I'm not sure. What about this one last? The final, the final answer eventually will be the last one in the puzzle. And a convention hosting Swiss City at Geneva. I mean, this is referring presumably to the Geneva Convention's governing conduct in wartime um, and conflict. So I suspect that's the answer. And chaotic spectacle would be a scene. Don't make a scene. Don't make a chaotic spectacle, I guess you could say, if you're being a bit stranger about it. A so-called missing link in our ancestry. People often speak of a sort of so-called ape man who still exists and is some sort of evolutionarily evolutionary missing link. I don't know that this is necessarily thought to be a necessary thing to discover, but some people really like the idea of it. Uh, blank all work out in the end. It'll all work out in the end, as they sometimes say. Made in blank. I mean, it could be made in USA. I'm not sure if there are other possibilities here. Unforeseen problem could be a snag. And then the home of the Taj Mahal, yes, would be Agra. So this does look like made in USA. Fair enough. Recycling option that collects paper, plastic, plastics, and metals together, 2010s to present. Uh, single stream. Say, oh, is it single streaming? I don't think I've ever heard it that way. Oh, streaming? Is that the... Oh, oh. A record is a technology, is it a vinyl record, I guess, from the 1950s to early 1980s? Well, these are sort of the height of the of popularity of these technologies. Tape, 19... Yeah, music technology. 1970s to early 1990s, as in a cassette tape. A CD, a compact disc, 1990s to 2000s. And then finally, streaming technology, 2010s to the present. R these are sort of roughly the eras of um, major popularity of these ways of uh, delivering music. Wow. Okay. That was com went completely under my nose. Well, there we go. Finally got it. Works by Picasso, por ejemplo. Um, works by, I mean, is it going to be art or is it going to be more specific than that? Let's see. Vice President Agnew, Spiro Agnew. Um, a vice president with an incredibly distinctive name that I very much enjoy, U.S. vice president. Pennies are cents, uh, divisions of dollars or euros, and then textures, astonishment, spelled cutesily. O-M-G, I guess? I don't know that I've often seen this, but I'm, I'm sure I have occasionally. Obviously, we're just phonetically unpacking the letters O-M-G, um, as you might text somebody, I guess. Okay, this does look like Arte. And then here we have like now, ASAP. And then to sit for a portrait is to pose. Uh, bad habits are vices. And then an old Russian leader is a czar. There we go. Campfire remains are ashes. So ashes left after a fire has burned. And then bros sibling, a brother's sibling is sis for sister. Wool sweater annoyance is itch. Certainly a wool sweater can be itchy. A genealogy chart could be a family tree. And then, all right, we saw Seedless already. So here we have Network that aired Jersey Shore, must be MTV. And then Star in Lyra is 
Vega. Okay. I didn't know that offhand, but, uh, but there we go. So that's it. And somewhat surprisingly to me, there is no revealer for this crossword. So I'm glad that I took a moment to finally understand what was going on with the theme because the puzzle never tells us. <laughs> we just have these um, bracketed date ranges or decade ranges in order to suggest what's going on. Uh, but that's it. And I suppose we just discard the first the first word of these of these answers. But yes, we we move from from starting in the 1950s, we move from record to tape to CD to streaming to finally bringing us up to the present. And those are our music delivery technologies, I suppose. And uh, and there we go. Um, as I've sometimes pointed out, I seem to be stuck in the 1990s to 2000s because behind me I've got a tower full of CDs and other assorted things. Um, but there we go. That was the Monday Crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. I do have to take off now, but there we go. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, with the Tuesday Crossword. Should be another relatively approachable themed puzzle. Do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.